Alright everyone, Cody here. Today I have a hand warmer, a 2 liter bottle, and an oxyacetylene torch. What I'm going to do is replace the atmosphere in this bottle with pure oxygen from the torch. No acetylene. I don't even have an acetylene tank on. And I'm going to slip this uh, hand warmer in there. There's a little bit of extra water in there, so that'll, that'll help it out. And we're going to see how much oxygen the hand warmer absorbs, because as it absorbs oxygen, it should like cause the bottle to collapse, right? Yep, that's the theory. Let's get started. Okay, I have oxygen going into the bottle. And while that's uh, replacing it, I'm going to go ahead and open this. Here we are. Nice little hand warmer. Ooh, it's already warmed up. Let's see if I can slip it into this bottle. Let's turn this off for a second. Alright, it's a tight fit, but I think it'll work. Alright, hand warmers in. Let's go ahead and continue adding oxygen. Very nice. Alright, there we have it. Hand warmer inside of sealed bottle with an atmosphere of pure oxygen. Let's go ahead and let that absorb the water. Very nice. And let this rest over the next few hours. Hopefully it doesn't get too hot. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. You can feel the side of the bottle here. I think it's my face. Even my hand. It is producing quite a bit of heat. I don't think it's enough to melt the plastic, but it's it's quite hot. <laughs> it's actually causing the water to steam up. <laughs> Alright, I'll keep an eye on it. Hopefully it don't catch fire or something. Alright, so basically just enough time's elapsed since my last cut to go roll up the torch. So maybe a couple of minutes. And see the bottle has already started to collapse. Look at that. I mean, when I first started, the uh, the heat from the hand warmer actually caused the bottle to like, swell and expand and get tight. But now, I think the hand warmer is starting to suck up so much, uh, so much uh, oxygen that it's starting to compress it even though it's quite hot in there still. Look how the bottle is like steaming up. I'd say it's over 120 degrees inside there. Now let's see what happens as it continues to suck up the air. <laughs> oh wow. Just popped in. <clears throat> Here we are about a uh, half hour after I put this in. It still feels warm, but the collapsing of the bottle seems to slow it way down. I don't know if you can see, but there's like a lot of condensation where this thing isn't. So I might could speed it up if I like uh, wipe that condensation back onto it. I like that. Not very much room in this bottle anymore though. Yeah, that's uh, at least a liter that's been sucked out of it. And uh, since at this altitude oxygen weighs about a gram per liter, it's about, you know, it's over a gram of oxygen it's eaten up. Alright, I'll let it go for another little while. Okay, here we are. I think it's about an hour and a half since I put this in. Chickens are still crowing. They do that all day. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's actually cr crushed it so far that it's now the plastic's touching, and I, I can't get this to go through to the other side of the bottle. Yeah, still in there. Still feels a little warm. Certainly not as hot as it was before. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm kind of curious to see if it like sucks it all out. Kind of cool, isn't it? All right, I'll let her go another couple hours. Okay, here we are about uh, three or four hours after I put it in. And this bottle is crushed. Look at that. I don't think I could do it better than the vacuum pump. The uh, bag of iron right there. It doesn't feel warm anymore. So I think it's either completely done or it's eaten up all the oxygen. Look at that. Ha, ha, ha.